Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for November 13th through November 19th. This is for the sign of Virgo. Now I have to remind you that this may not resonate for you. This is not a private reading, just for you, okay? It may resonate or it may not, okay? In many cases it will, but I have to say that because some people, somebody will be sure to write, that doesn't resonate with me. Well, it wasn't just for you, okay? If you want to know more about me, you can watch my some of my Let's Talk sessions. They're pretty humorous and informative if you're, if you're looking to um, learn more about your spiritual journey. I'll zoom this in better once I have the cards laid out. Okay, so this is for the sign of Virgo, November 13th through the November 19th. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. And there, I read uh, something before I did this, and I thought it was, I thought it had to do with you. So I'm going to read it again. Okay, I had to go back because it's not over here. I didn't see it on my computer. My daughter actually put it on her computer. She wrote it at the top of her computer, and I, and she just got a new computer. So anyway. It says, we were born to make history. <laughs> and I was getting ready to do your reading. And I was thinking about Virgo as I walked over to get a drink. And I happened to look up and I saw that. So I said, that's for Virgo. We were born to make history. Okay? Keep that in your head. Remember it. Where she came up with it, I don't know. It must be because she's my child. That's all I can think of. Anyway, um, <laughs> be proud of who you are. Be proud of who you are. I don't know if you've watched my readings before. Every single word that comes out of my mouth during this reading, the minute I hit record is from, for you. Every little thing that happens, if the phone rings, if I get interrupted, if something falls, and I've had all kinds of things happen. So you never know what to expect we were born to make history be proud of your accomplishments be proud of who you are okay that's coming out for a reason i feel like you guys are a force to be reckoned with do not deny your inner strength your inner power don't deny who you are okay don't you want more and you deserve more. Don't don't um, deny your needs, your desires, your wishes. If you are desiring more, go for it. Take action. Okay? Take action. Honor your truth. Let go of your inner conflicts. If you're looking for love, more love, love that you've never experienced before, go for it. Take a risk. Take a leap of faith. There's no need to feel dead inside or to feel like there's no more excitement. There's no need to feel that way. You have angel guidance here. You do. Four, four, four. You have guidance. It's time for you to take a risk. It's time for you to fly. 
It's time for you to move away from your inner depression. It's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to be content. It's time for you to let go of something that no longer serves you. It's time for you to be victorious and honor yourself. Your self-worth, your self-respect, your self-confidence. Don't let that shit go down because you're not honoring yourself. Do what's right for you. Be direct. Do what's right for you. Take action. Keep going. Don't quit. Fly into the unknown. Take a risk. Even if it makes you feel unorganized. Even if it makes you feel um, like things are a little chaotic because of the change. I think that you are you may be afraid to fly because of the change. That saying was for you. And I can't even remember what it was now. I'd have to go back and look. It's on her computer over there. Which I'm going to, you know, clean up. I'm going to bring it back to the factory settings. But it, what is it? It says something. It's a sticky across the top. It's gone now. It was for you. Whatever it was that's the beginning of this reading. And it was for you. You were born to make history. Okay. I feel like many of you, you know, have been looking for um, like a to or, or a togetherness with another person. This is a love reading, by the way. A togetherness, some communication, more excitement, more adventure. More love, but you're scared. You still have this fear. But I think you, for many of you, you've, you've already taken the leap, okay? Some of you have already taken the leap, and now your life's a little bit chaotic, or it was, and it's starting to, you know, uh, even out a little bit. You know, the waves are starting to dissipate. So, you know, this is, the, this is the way it is with these readings. Some of you are still scared to jump. Some of you have already jumped. And some of you have just jumped. And some of you is starting to get um, more peaceful again. You know, because that's how it is with these readings. For some of you, there could be a new offer of love. That could lead to a commitment and a lot of happiness. Okay. Probably by summer. When you could, things could start to actually come into focus this month. And by summertime, you could be very, very, very happy. Okay? So, if you need to take a leap of faith, if you need to start a new journey, but you have a little bit of fear, let that shit go. You were born to be great. You were. Even if you weren't born to make history, you were born to be great. Don't forget it. Take action. If you don't honor yourself, who is going to? I see that many of you are looking for something more. You are looking for more. You're looking for that ultimate companionship. And perhaps you're not receiving what that ultimate companionship is to you at this time. And so you're taking action. All right. There may be some tension. There may be some tension because you're actually following your path. You know, that may cause some conflicts. It may cause some chaos. And there is a change and change is scary. And you may have to take the lead. You're going to have to take the lead, by the way. just want to throw that one out there. The other person's not going to. You have to take the lead to let go of something that no longer serves you. There is a loss here. Something needs to go. This is the Ten of Swords. That is not serving you emotionally, mentally. There's a loss. You're feeling... Um, like you're in crisis mode. Not really... In some of you, it's not crisis mode. It's unhappiness. 
I'm unhappy here. And it's time for you to have your honor your self respect. This is self respect. Okay? And to honor yourself, sometimes there's conflicts with other people. That's the way it is. There's angel guidance here. There is. This three of pentacles can often signify angel guidance. Okay? And then we have the three fours. Trust me. Okay? Ask your angels for help at this time. Ask them for the knowledge. Ask them for the path. Ask them for their protection. Ask them for their help. If you ask, you will receive. But you have to have faith and you need to have patience. If you don't get your answer immediately, give it some time. Okay? All is well. Believe it. Everything is happening for a reason. It's time for you to do the right thing for you. That's the basis of your reading. That king of that king of swords is time for you to do the right thing for you. You know what you need to do. Some of you have done it already. Some of you have not. It brings a little bit of chaos. It definitely brings change. If somebody could be very upset, they could bring on a fight. But once you do it, after you do it, peace comes back to your life. Happiness come back, comes back. Contentment comes back. There could be a new offer of love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have a Leo here. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So we, the only ones I don't see are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But we're not done. We're not done laying out the cards yet. There is new love and there is happiness. There could be a new welling of emotion for somebody else. And you are being called to do the right thing for you. Take action because if you don't, nobody is going to. It's in your hands. You have to free yourself. Now you have the Ten of Swords twice. Something, there's going to be a loss before this happiness comes in. Okay, that's part of the lesson. There is going to be a loss. When the Ten of Swords comes up, there's a loss of some sort. There's a death of something, an end of something before the happiness comes in. Loss, loss. Happiness, happiness. Okay? This happiness includes love. There might be a loss of a relationship that brings in another one. Let's get the rest of the cards. It is. That's a new door. One door closes, another door opens. That's, I just told you what it was. We can stop now. We're not going to, but we could. One door is closing, so another door is opening. And here you are. This is a man or woman. Pis oh, Pisces. I was going to say Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. That's what was, was going to come out of my mouth. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio just about came out of my mouth. Take that into consideration. Like I said, every single thing that happens during a reading is for you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio was coming out of my mouth for a reason. Look at that. You must keep moving. You are stalling. There's a, this is a, this is a stalemate. This is the slowest moving night. This card is here to say, move it, get moving, take action, release your fears, do the right thing for you. Don't let your pride get in the way. Be proud of who you are. 
Let your confidence shine. Show your passion. You want to keep that passion all pent up? Do you? You have to take action. This card tells me you need to take action. This one does too. This one says you're at a stalemate. You're not really moving forward. Okay. And this represents you. This is a man or a woman. Even though you want to. You want something to end. You can't. For some reason you can't do it. Now, let me get back to the timeline. Some of you have. Some of you might do it this week. Some of you haven't, okay? So some of you haven't done it. You're contemplating it. Some of you have done it, and the peace is starting to come back. And some of you are going to actually take action this week, okay? I need you to believe in yourself. Believe that happiness in the is in the future. Most of all, love yourself, okay? And then rest will fall into place. Happiness is around the corner. Contentment, commitment, new love is around the corner. Should you decide to let something end and take action and stop procrastinating. One door has to close so that a new one can open. A new one really wants to open. For some of you, it already has. But for some of you, it hasn't because you haven't taken action. This is for Virgo, November 13th to November 19th. My dog just let out a big old sigh. <laughs> it's not funny, is it? I'm Virgo rising, so this definitely resonates. And I didn't even think about it till now. Just right now, it crossed my mind. After I said that the dog sighed, I thought, oh shit. You know, then it, that's when it crossed my mind. I don't, I don't watch my rising signs or my moon signs. I watch my sun sign. Yeah, there is happiness in the future. There is right around the corner. And this is not a literal engagement. I mean, it can be, but it's not. We'll get to this and that in a minute. I don't want people to go out there thinking they're going to get engaged when they're not ready. Ooh, this is a good one. Stay optimistic about your love life. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive in thinking and faith will bring you romance. Have faith. Have trust in yourself. In your desires. In your needs. In your wishes. And in, in what you want, believe it. Because if you don't do what you need to do for you, it's never going to happen. The next card is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment because you take action. You're looking for that ultimate love. Exciting, passionate, love that's a higher level of commitment that you're probably stuck in right now you could be single and you're stuck there let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally Let go of control issues. Do you guys have control issues? Really? Are you so afraid of this loss? Are you afraid what other people are going to say? It looks like this person is protecting her child. Mother child. Something to do with children. I don't know what's going on here, but there's a bunch of angels behind. Trust that the angels are here with you. It's I'm positive. Let the angels help you. They've got this. Follow your inner guide, please. Please, please, please. 
ask the angels for their guidance. Ask them, what do I do? Give me a sign. Lead me in the direction I need to go in, please. And trust and have faith that they will and they will. I promise you. Virgo, this is for November 13th through November 19th. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video or my Let's Talk videos, which are live streams that are done mostly every night. About half of them are private now because sometimes they get a little out of hand. If you are lucky enough to watch them while they are live, you will get to hear it. <laughs> but sometimes I have to make them private because, you know, just because I have to. Talk to you later.